once again animating the silo scene so um, yeah we'll pick up where we started last time uh, eating so it occurred to me that perhaps we could get a better um, a better pose for eating so so the loops make more sense because at the moment uh, this one misses the if, if you'd started with this tear animation it would miss the bite um, so and you you would if you'd have a chew after it you would have to go down so this pose would make more sense uh, as an as a start pose so we're going to add a keyframe here and uh, copy this here and move it to the left and now get rid of this and now it should look all the same if we have uh, gotten all keys on all layers and it seems to be like that or perhaps it didn't work out completely so let's try it again because I don't think it looks exactly the same oh yes it does so yeah perhaps we c we can also edit it a bit more so it looks more more plausible still so here we go down and here it should still be in the food oh okay it doesn't want to take the new keys somehow okay that's weird oh, we can try one thing and that is um, I wrote a script once that uh, deletes the scale I post so these might be a problem here because it automatically adds them no in fact the problem is that um, is that we have uh, created um, keys and they have been uh, duplicated and uh, now we have to clean the action oops that didn't work as expected I think Um, so uh, we have to kind of um, um, uh, we have uh, duplicate keys in in the in the in the IPO curves and those create some weird weird structure here so this is not what we want we want it to be interpolated and it should loop and we don't want those sudden jerks in here um, so we go and we have to go back because I added these in here and here this is before and you can if we if we go to edit mode you see we still have two keys here and 
we first have to uh, get rid of of the keys and then it should work out now if we set the tra threshold here to uh, zero and run this clean script and now we've got um, we've got our our keys set properly and now if we go back we can also edit it and it'll work properly and we can also remove the scale i post because we simply don't need them okay let's have a closer look here so it should stick here okay we could have a keep tail uh, keep the neck here in place yeah I think now it's good so now it makes the looping structure makes more sense because it can run independently and it doesn't need any other action before uh, so we take this pose here and we go to eat eat true and we make sure that we uh, paste it as our starting pose Uh, so now we've got bit head down kind of um, uh, the head hangs down here uh, so we'll bring it up bring it up just a little bit Okay, so now we have E tear and then we can go to loop it to E uh, true and now we can um, make a transition from from this E pose to to stand so that should not be too hard. So we can simply go to um, oh yeah, stand idle and add new stand to eat. So now of course we set our um, key extend modes to constant and we get rid of all the stuff that we don't need and we go to E true and we copy the pose and we go to stand to E and move up say 10 frames and we paste the pose and of course now this is um, too fast and yeah, this one seems more reasonable now we have to incorporate um, a step so our classic method here is take the middle and move the limb up a bit and rotate it a bit and then get the start and perhaps end key too Or you could also, um, because we have two two steps here, 
uh, we we turn it into two steps uh, like the first for the left and the second for the right hand so create the middle and move it back here and duplicate this and now again it, it looks faster than it actually is because of um, yeah you know um, the, the playback rate blender oh and the back legs also move so we're going to include them as well so first this one here and now this one here And now we can make it a bit more kind of random because at the moment we have uh, quite some overlap and of course we uh, we want to get it to to look uh, quite organic and not really um, computed so if we add a little bit of delay and we don't have them uh, going all simultaneously it simply looks much much better because uh, it really wouldn't uh, move two, two limbs at the same time usually this because now we have two steps on the same side uh, after one another and I think that looks worse than having it all nicely spread between the sides maybe we can make it a little bit um, slower because it is quite fast actually okay so now it's a second long and that's good enough okay um, just so it doesn't look like a like a complete uh, simple interpolation we can have um, the leg and uh, the, the head look just a bit down because it looks to the food and even more and then it looks uh, less like it is just a simple blend between two poses but that actually some input went in there to create it and uh, from this one we can create the reverse really easily so stand uh, E to stand so we have stand to eat and E to stand so we really just go and reverse it oops didn't hit the minus So now we we don't want it to look downward but upward because now up is more interesting than looking down so it looks more quickly upward and then slowly stays there and 
we've got this one done as well. Oh, do we have our lungs working here? Now, this is interesting. Oh yeah, th that killed it. Because we, we changed the start post here for the lungs. Are we going to have to change it around? Oops. And add a key here. No, actually simply copy this key and paste it. Paste it and delete this one. And it breathes. And... Um, also paste it here. And paste it on the reverse, on the right place of course. Okay. Um, yeah, so now we can make some more transitions. So let's say um, we go to lie. Oh yeah, we can also make a nice um, sit animation as a blend between lie and and stand actually. So we're going to make sit idle. Okay. So this will be a bit different, more upright and. Will you sit? Simple. Kind of simple thing. So, um, pelvis goes more upward, and then the spine is kind of curved, and the tail. Goes around, Shift maybe to the other side because we already use this one. Now clear it. So I'm doing this one manually now because. Um, curved in a weird way. Okay, we can change the weight painting here a bit. Just a really slight. Because it doesn't look very organic and you can see here um, we don't want soft. Um, here we we had a somewhat more or less forgotten a few a few paint drops. So it 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 doesn't blend all too great, but it's an easy fix, as you can see. It's pretty much done already, just a bit manual blurring and use of the blur tool and we're good. And now it bends much more naturally, even in this kind of uh, strong angle. Um. Yeah, there's this um, reference for this pose um, comes from also one of them, uh, one of the shots um, made of Benjamin in his enclosure. 
and that's not this one yeah this one it is um I think at least yeah as uh, so here it, uh, it's got this quite upright sit and and also droning and sniffing yeah okay so it's it's really relatively upright and of course that uh, it's quite of a test for the rig because it it, it obviously needs uh, quite some deformation and again we we see we get a relatively stiff curve here um, so we'll see what we can do to make it a bit smoother Can use the blur tool. And a little more. Perhaps mix it. And we need. No. Yeah, I think that's good enough. We can also make the pose a bit less challenging for the rig because it's really bent at the moment. Can make it come more from from the thigh bit. And it d doesn't have to be that upright. Okay, so now we've kind of encountered a, a little problem here with, with this rig and that's um, our lung constraints. Now they're really oddly bent, so we could probably uh, parent them to the spine 1 bone instead of the spine 2 bone and then we, we get a, a better orientation here in, in this case. Yeah. Okay. So I uh, I don't really like like the bend pose at the moment because it it's too straight. It's bent too much. Uh, so what can we do to make it more normal looking? What about so bringing it back kind of causes trouble with with the the bones of the leg going underneath the ground, and bringing it forward doesn't help either. So if we rotate the pelvis a bit more, Okay, I need to see the... Oh, they're actually quite okay still. So we don't have to worry about our... Um, our, our leg bones because they're not yet stretched. Okay. 
Okay, so maybe we can give the whole spine a little bit of curl. Oops. Also kind of curl the the neck a bit backward, so to counter this movement. And I think it looks better if the, the arms aren't not bent so far, uh, not so far back. And it probably looks better if if the whole thing is bent in one direction. It looks more normal, at least for for start poses. Makes more sense. Sort of like this. Now a bit of a few edits on the head. Shouldn't look that far up. Yeah, like this. Okay, now can Okay, that's a bit stupid now because we are far behind uh, the the usual location of the the bones, so we don't want that. Uh, we want to kind of stay in place, so it's about 0.3 behind uh, the origin here. So we go and move the whole thing a little bit forward yeah here yeah. and we copy and paste and get rid of all this stuff And we just need an in between. So I figured it looks better for uh, for its tail if if the the base stays relatively static and only the the uh, the the back kind of does something so only the tip of the tail should be active because otherwise it, it looks too wiggly because I, I figure their, their tails are relatively stiff okay again um, tiny 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 bit or pelvis motion. Oops. Wrong time. Really, really, really tiny bit. Too much. And now it's exactly the same. Now it's now it's fine. Okay, a little bit of curl, curl down, and here curl up, and we curl the looking direction a bit to the right, so we get a. Or not, because that that doesn't look normal. Not at all. Nope, still not good.
so it doesn't like to move a lot of around the spine because that that uh, that simply makes it too wiggly to to look plausible as a as an idle animation. The tail is also doing too much. So this can be really, really, really tricky to get it uh, look look good for for something where it should really do nothing and just sit there and and be quiet and, and loop nicely. And then the interesting and also usually more easy part uh, comes when when it when we get to creating the the interesting animations like a drawing or something. Or uh, these are usually um, more straightforward to do because simply uh, there there you you have something to focus on and. And you know how it, how it. Oh yeah, that looks good. You know how it should look, and it automatically uh, gets a uh, an a live feel because it does something. And here you have to work hard to get to something uh, that that doesn't do too much, but still looks live. Okay, so now we could. Uh, I think now it's time to get on with uh, with the transitions. So we we take this pose, and we go. Yeah, we can use the stand to eat that we've already created, and add a new one and call it stand to sit. And now we'll slowly create uh, the missing uh, transitions Oi. this is funny one of the IK controllers doesn't want to go where it should go Maybe we've got a um, one of those weird duplicate keys again. Yeah. Okay. Now it's fine. So uh, you see, uh, we've got a a lot of uh, movement for the. The, fr uh, the arms and I think we could arrange it in a way that we don't have to move the the legs at all so we'll simply take everything but bib01 and move it so the legs stay in place I've marked the beginning of the legs with the cursor you can see They stay in place enough, at least. Okay. Um. Yeah. Now we have to deal with the hands again. So here we can duplicate these. And get the in betweens. And now let's begin with the right one. And let's say each step takes. we need two steps and back delete them okay, add a okay we, we'll do it procedurally 
which is uh, comes weird otherwise. So we do. We go and make it a bit longer, bring it up to 40 frames, so we have plenty of time to do all the movements we need. Okay, so we add a key here. And Oop. and we go here and we go here. And here, and now we have step, 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 and step. So now it's nicely split into four steps of appropriate size. Oops, added the keys to the wrong one. The other one. Wait. So you see? Oh, I think I saw a problem here. No, it looks all right, but it, it looks a bit weird on the skin. Mm. The, so the legs are still fine, but they're not not in their best shape so uh, we can counter that by by curving the spine earlier on and then we get get less of a stretch yes i think this is already Really nice looking. Okay, what happened to the lungs? They have disappeared. Okay. So we're gonna get these keys here back. Again with the Complete key set copy. I'll just save it now in case it messes up. In case it messes up, because that's always a possibility. It sometimes doesn't want to work the way I want it to work. So it's always wise to be sure and to have a backup in case Blender doesn't want to cooperate. Um, okay, we were at stand to sit, and we got to paste the keys, and it breathes, and the ears also move. Okay, get rid of these. Okay. And this looks nice. So now, um, just take this pose because we gotta go back and fix the sit idle. Yep. Okay. All we have to do is. Change the pelvis Y coordinate and should be fine. Yeah. Okay, now we have sit idle and stand to sit. And this is once again one of those animations that we can simply 
um, reverse to get the reverse reversed animation we don't have to uh, modify anything additionally so we simply yeah we simply go and invert it and uh, just one thing and we have to add a lock rod key for the first frame for bib zero one we simply need that also I think I forgot to uh, to do that for no here we have one okay we always need a key at the first frame for bib zero one and nonicum okay so um, we've got the sit main thing uh, the sit blends covered so now we can go and think about a sit to lie blend so um, we've got our um, sit to stand so we copy it for sit to lie and we get the lie um, sit to lie and we paste it and get rid of the in between stuff Well, actually, we could have probably kept it. Yeah, because it it already sort of does the does the stuff that we we need. We just need them to happen more quickly, or rather, have the rest happen more slowly. So the legs have to be ahead. So they already have to be here before before they're they're needed. Okay, we have step, 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 step. We have one step, one step, one step, one step. Two steps for each. So that's good. Left side looks fine. Or rather, that was the right side, left side now. Uh, distortion so we have to go and perhaps that could be the solution to kind of bend the spine back and also perhaps bring the pelvis up a bit
Yeah, that also looks relatively convincing already. little bit closer look we could uh, bring the neck upward a bit yep that helped okay um from the top Yep, that looks nice. And once again, already built the reverse if we're at it. So light to stand and oops, no, light to sit and sit to lie. So get it all reverse it and we can use this neck principle we've talked about so this time the, the neck kind of drags behind and sort of uh, stays in place a bit longer that kind of gives it a feeling of uh, yeah, you could say um, well, anyway doesn't really matter it looks more natural okay and we've got lie and now we've got lie side so this will be a bit more tricky um, so we go from lie, the new one, lie to lie side, and we get our, our pose, and paste it. Now here we definitely can't use those in between keys here up, up here. Oh, actually that was much 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 easier than expected. It seems to work just fine with a really simple blend. So sometimes the things that you would expect to be pretty hard are actually cool beans and this is one of them all that I noticed that would call for a change is the speed and the stuff that the tail does just bring it up a wee bit above the surface and I'd say we're good We don't have any ground intersections and it looks really nice and fluid. And reverse it. Lie side to lie. This once again we can simply reverse and it'll be fine. Okay, uh, what else do we have that that starts off from lie? Um, oh yes, yeah, sleep. So copy lie. Oh no, we don't use that one. So say open recent. Um, naming arrow, lie side to lie, 
not lie side to lie side okay lie to lie side this one we take and we go lie to um lie to sleep okay same procedure once again we get the sleep pose and go to lie to sleep go to the end and paste it and here as well seems like cool beans we simply delete those table keys that we added for the last one and we're good yeah no need to do anything here okay and once again reverse sleep to lie lie to sleep sleep to lie reverse nice okay so now you, you see where we're kind of piling up our animations because we got all those blends and those blends quickly uh, sum up to quite an, an animation count uh, so don't be afraid because as you see most of these are, are really quick but uh, you can you can easily exceed say 50 animations really by just having the basic stuff and not having added uh, any of the fancy additional kind of animations okay so what are we missing still um. mm. sleep stand stand to eat eat to stand Oh yeah, walk. Um, we're we're missing the the stand to walk animation. Yeah, so we go get this one, add a new one, stand to walk, and go to walk ahead and grab the pose and go back to stand to walk and paste the pose and get rid of the in-between stuff and you see the keys were messed up keys clean okay that clean now we have to decide which ones we have to fix okay so we we go and say the uh back right leg stays in place because it moves uh, backward a lot so we we use that one to track to And it would be because the there's there's two reasons for that. First, uh, when we go to walk ahead, this is the leg that will uh, have its step next. So um, the uh, on our walk to stand, um, uh, stand to walk we will have uh, the other legs perform perform the 
um, the, 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 the step first. Okay. So we go to the middle. and raise them okay mm. yeah so we have that step, uh, now we just bring it out of face. Usual procedure, really. Nothing special about it. A little bit of overlap might be okay. Step, step. Wait, we have a, a little bit of sliding here that I can't really explain why. Because the legs uh, should be nicely in phase, they should have the same speed relative to each other. Uh, don't really know why it doesn't stay where it's supposed to be. Perhaps because the stand pose is a bit weird. And we, we can live with uh, this slight kind of um, with this really slight uh, slithering here because it's not really uh, all that obvious. Okay, so is the speed good? You have to have a quick look at our walk how speedy that was oh it was quite speedy so what we're gonna do is um, make it or speed it up yeah say 0.5 I'm wondering if it wouldn't be better to have a, a really slight step yeah it probably is and kind of instead of having it out of phase bring it into a sort of sequence step step and step okay so we have stand to walk and you may remember I I already talked about um, changing the the tangents of the bit zero one on the IPO curves uh, is especially important if you change f change from an idle animation to a to a locomotion animation because you have um, you have a, a horizontal tangent here when when you come from stand but you want to have a diagonal tangent when you uh, when you go to walk uh, and you see it the speed is here uh, is highest in the middle but you want the speed to be highest here at the end so it, it accelerates and it doesn't accelerate and decelerate again so we go to the IPO curve editor and the home button and you see um, we're interested here in lock lock Y but only of BIP01 oops so home button again and 
now set the tangent um, to be appropriate so this seems reasonable let's check it slow and speeds up and that's the way we want it to be okay fine um and we do the reverse walk to stand okay now of course we have to reverse the pose and now our okay the first thing that we have to do is um bring this one to okay now we need the start frame again from walk ahead because uh technically we don't have to um we don't have to have um a zero bip zero one transformation at frame one uh but it it is easier to work with so walk to stand so I'd rather replace it like this to have it all clean and organized um, than than working from um, from the, the 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 change transformations all the time because it, it confuses you and also you you can't use the grid as nicely okay so now uh, these have performed their step right right hand has performed its step so we're going to use that one yeah, that's weird here the left leg almost stays in place yes ah okay I get it because the uh, the stand pose is a bit different um, because they're um, they're they're um, the back legs and the stand are not in between uh, here they're not in between the uh, the walk pose while the, the the arms are roughly where they're supposed to be Anyway, we so I've marked the spot here and just bring it forward. Okay. Now we can already set the IPO for pip zero one um, home. Okay. And it moves relatively slow somehow. Anyway, uh, we need a step here. keep this parallel step and then have a little step for this one here just really faint sort of um, just to avoid a slip ring slithering oop, just to avoid uh, the like slithering over the ground okay and now you see it decelerates and stops and now uh, I think that we're now that we're done with this one I think 
we we kind of have the the basic set, just really the basic animations that we need to create an a usable animal one that would work in game. Of course, it's it's not uh, really interesting to watch because it, it doesn't have any extras like uh, scratching or drawing or uh, barking or fighting or whatever. Um, but it it is enough to to uh, theoretically um, make it work. And now anything we add beyond this stage is is really merely extra and is not kind of essential to the function. So next time we can add, uh, we can begin adding uh, the interesting kind of stuff. So all the stuff that that really gives it its character. But now we're we're really at a place where we we have something that that would already be good enough to work in game.